This is Dr. Andrew Sansom. I am the lead plaintiff along with Hayes County and the city of Kyle in challenging this pipeline based on its uh, unconstitutionality and improper use of eminent domain. Pulling eminent domain refers to the power of the government to take private property and convert it into public use. The Fifth Amendment provides that the government may only pull eminent domain if they provide just compensation to the property owners. So what does this mean for the people of San Marcos? In the case of a pipeline, a private company just calls you or writes you a letter and says, we're going to take your property and build a pipeline across it. But there are other factors that must be considered. This pipeline would disrupt thousands of acres of natural land, displacing wildlife, people, and interfering with underground sources of water, like the Edwards Aquifer. There's also the concern that this pipeline could be used to carry other things than natural gas, like jet fuel or crude oil. If these oils were to leak, the results could be disastrous. And if you had a leak or an ex explosion or some breach of the pipeline over the Edwards Aquifer, then you could contaminate the water that comes out of Spring Lake right here, the primary water supply for the city of San Antonio. So the entire aquifer is potentially at risk. So what can you do to voice your concerns about the Permian Pipeline? Contact your state representative. The Supreme Court is expected to reach a decision by the end of this week, but if that decision were to be appealed, we could expect this court case to go all the way to the Supreme Court. With Bobcat Report, I'm Shelby Chu.